Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. Now in the last video we just created our very first program. Now we haven't understood all these things clearly. I have increased the font size a bit so that you guys can see it clearly. Now in this video we will understand the main method, what this public static void means and all that crap. So let's get started. So let me go and delete this and create it from scratch so that you guys can understand everything. So as I've said, our program has an entry point where the program really starts. Now this entry point is our main method. It is called a method. We'll learn more about methods in later lessons. So first of all, we have to create a letter. Uh, we have to create a method called main. So let's go and name it main. And the the standard mm, method of creating a method <laughs> i'm not gonna say like that the standard way of creating a method is writing the name of the method giving a pair of parentheses and then giving a pair of curly braces okay now this is the standard way of creating a method so as i've said we're gonna create a method called main then we're gonna give a pair of parentheses and then we're gonna give it a pair of curly braces okay seems fine now this main program is going to be the entry point of our program okay so if we want this to be the entry point of our program we want all the other things of our program to access this okay so in order to make all other things of our program to access this we have to make it a public method okay now public means everyone can access it, use it, take it information, take information from it and all that. So we have to create it public. So let's go and select public. So public means everyone can access that. It is a public property, a public domain you can say. Make sense? Okay. Now the next catch we have is, as I have said, main method is basically the starting point or the entry point of our program. but since java is an object oriented programming language so we have to create an object to run our program so here's a catch we have to create an object to create our very first program but we cannot create an object since uh, uh, let me go it this way let me put it this way in order to call a method in order to call a method of a class here main is a method of class tutorial okay so in order to call a method of a class we have to create an object of that class but in order to create an object of this class we have to call the main method so there's a uh, there's <laughs> there's a what can you say it's a catch or there's a puzzle like thing because in order to call the main method we have to create an object of the tutorial class but in order to create the object of the tutorial class we have to call the main method so we have to find a way so that we can create an object uh, we can create uh, I'm sorry we can call the main method without creating an object of this tutorial so we have to find a way so that we can call the main method without creating any object okay but the property of a java program is you have to create an object to call a method but we need to call the main method without creating an object since this is the starting point of our program and we cannot we don't have any object till now so in order to do that we have to make this method static now static means that we can call this main method without creating any object so now you guys can understand why we make it static now we have to give each and every method a return type the return type means what we want the program to return us as an example if we give the return type of a program integer or int the program will return us an int like two four five one two everything if we make it a uh, char or character it will return us a character now we don't want the main method to return us anything so since we don't want the main method to return us anything we have to make it type void 
So making the return type void means we don't want the main method to return us anything or we want to return we want it to return us void. Got it? So that is how we got public static void main. Now as a standard practice inside main method we have to give an argument called string an array of string called args okay now this thing basically means an array an array is a bunch of objects together now here we are creating an array of strings now what are strings strings basically means words or sentences whatever so at this point we can give our main method some arguments from outside using these strings now you don't have to if you're a total beginner you don't have to understand this thing properly just make sure that uh, you put this in each and every program so this is how we create our very first main program now let's go and run it now it will not do anything since I haven't written anything here okay It will not do anything since I haven't written anything here, so it will not write anything. So this is it. I think you have you guys have understand everything about public static void men and the string args. If you have any further questions, make sure to write those in comments. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. In the next video, we'll probably do some more fun stuff. This is the basic things of Java we actually have learned in this tutorial. So thank you very very much for watching this video. I hope it helps. Please make sure to subscribe. Please click the subscribe button and like button. Thank you.